It's my feel good breakfast show. Warm welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show live, large and in charge on SABC3 on this Thursday morning. Now, eco-awareness has never been more relevant with issues like energy and more recently water being at the forefront of environmental debates. We've asked Alcana House to give us some insight about how they are merging education with sustainability. And we're joined this morning by Louise and Arthur from Alcana House. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and especially the fact that we are starting to engage with our, our youngsters, our really, really... Uh, uh, youngsters in terms of them being our future leaders on this, these very important things. So how does Alcon House exactly incorporate uh, a meaningful environmental agenda into the educational system, Louise? Well, firstly, uh, our, all of our buildings were designed as eco-friendly buildings, so that's a starting point. We've been running a recycling program for seven years, uh, and we've just celebrated a million kilograms, Look at that. which we had an amazing celebration at our school. Uh, I think we're probably the first school in South Africa ever to have uh, achieved that. So people have been bringing it in. We've got a partnership with uh, an area in Danoon um, where we do a swap shop and encourage recycling uh, with, with that, our partner schools in Danoon as well. Mm. Um, and of course it gets integrated into our curriculum, which Arthur can tell us a little bit more about. So it's, it's really part of who we are as a school. Mm. Alright, we'll yeah. speak about that in a second. I just want to just take it back a little mm. bit to find out, seven years ago when you, when you started all of this, what was the encouragement or the, the motivation behind it and why you th thought it's so important to have such a program incorporated into the system? Well, it was started by uh, some of our founders uh, who started a committee. And I think the main agenda is there's no question there's a, a sustainability issue worldwide. We live, we're on the west coast of, uh, of South Africa. Mm. Our oceans are in dire straits with uh, billions of pieces of plastic moving into the ocean every year. Mm -hmm. And as an educational institution, it's absolutely our uh, imperative to be driving this agenda and be teaching the future generation what they need to be doing for their own future. So, yeah. And Arthur, so how are you going about infusing this into the curriculum then? It goes all the way from our preschool through to our high school students up to matric. Um, in through various projects, through integration into the curriculum, um, you know, projects such as vegetable gardens in our preschools where the children can walk around the garden and can identify the, the plants just by looking at them and saying we're very proud of growing our spinach or our whatever it might be. Mm. Um, we also take that further into the academic curriculum, um, integrating not just in life skills but um, through science, through English and so forth. Yeah. Um, projects such as, you know, the grade nines have recently um, put together a, a video where they've, where they've um, spoken about water, for yeah. example, water conservation. Um, our grade sixes are currently involved in an Environment Week project where they are creating a water, uh, an environmental documentary wow. around water conservation. Um, we have uh, you know, other projects where, where the children are, are creating their own forms of recycling. Um, it's, it's really, a, it becomes integral into what we do and it's a conversation that is continually happening through the life of the school. Yeah, and especially among the kids as well, I can, I can imagine the stimulating conversations that are happening there where they inspire each other with ideas. So if parents find themselves in, in a situation where uh, the school that their child goes to doesn't necessarily mm. offer such mm. a vast program, such an integrated program, how can they help their children to learn more about mm. these things and become, I guess, better citizens of the world. Mm. Yeah. Look, the basis is, uh, the starting point is the dinner table conversations and making sure that it becomes uh, part and parcel of, uh, of your conversation, mm. recycling at home, uh, conservation of water at home, making sure that children understand this whole concept of a circular economy and, and not just dispose, disposing of things, actually reusing, recycling, and, and just making it, it part of what, of what you do at home. Wow. So, yeah. Truly inspiring stuff. Well, thank you very much for joining us this morning, Louise and Arthur. We really do appreciate it. And that's exactly how you can go about starting that conversation at home, that very important conversation that might lead to a better future for our generations to come. Right now, it's time for us to, like, to have a look at the news headlines of the morning. Here's Leanne.